welcome to this lecture on types of variables and data. In this lecture, we are going to learn what are the different types of variable and data that are possible in measurements. Let us first talk about the variables. What are variables? Variables are the values of the quantity that vary from one measurement to the other. Examples uh, are age and gender of people present in a party. If you look at the people present in a party, different people will have different age and gender of the people will be different. Okay. Some of them will be males, some of them will be females. Variables can be of two types, variables can be qualitative variables or variables can be quantitative variables. And now, let us talk about data. Data is nothing but these are the values of quantitative or qualitative variable that belong to one set of measurement. The data can be of two types, the data can be a qualitative data or a data can be a quantitative data. You will call your data to be a qualitative data if you cannot assign numbers to it and you will call your data to be a quantitative data if you can assign numbers to it. Now, let us talk about the qualitative variables. A variable quantity can be continuous that means, it can assume the values within a range or it can assume only integer values and not the fractions of integer that means, only it can assume only whole numbers. Now, the continuous variables are usually the measurements for example, height, weight and length of the students in a class. Okay. If you measure the height, weight or length, different students will have different height, weight and length and these would not be the whole numbers. And integer variables are usually the counts for example, number of petals on a flower, number of fishes in the pond. If you count them every time you will get full numbers and not fractions of integers. Now, let us talk about the qualitative variables. Now, a qualitative data arise when your observations fall into separate distinct categories. Examples color of eyes of different people. Okay. Different people can have different color of the eyes. The color of eye can be blue, green or brown. Similarly, socioeconomic status is another example of qualitative data because socioeconomic status can be lower class, middle class or upper class and in general you cannot assign numbers to it. Qualitative data can be further classified as nominal or ordinal. You will call your qualitative data to be a nominal one if you cannot arrange your data in a order. That means, if there is no natural ordering in the data and you will call your data to be ordinal one if you can arrange them in order. So, example of a nominal data will be the eye color. You can arrange the eye colors blue, green and brown in any order you want. There is no preference of one color over the other and the example of ordinal data will be the pain level. The pain level can be low, medium or severe and therefore, you can see that there is a natural order in the level of the pain. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.